Okay, we have a HP. We have a HP um, workstation here. It's a um, HP Z230 small form factor workstation. We're going to put an SSD in this and install Windows 10. So pull the cover out. You gotta push these guys out to the, see the green tabs, just like that. And if you have any USBs plugged in, in my case, pull them out first. Otherwise you lose them. And this generally just pops out, just like that. There we go. And we're going to install a 256 gig, made in Taiwan, silicon power SSD. And that's going to slide in here. Okay, so they've put some screws for us to use. Fantastic. The, the screws back onto the SSD. There we go. That should just fit nicely. Now we need power so nice and we need a SATA cable And if you can run it the same way, that will be great. That way it will be easy to open up and close the case. Just like this. Now in this case, we're going to make the SSD drive the first first uh, hard drive to boot from, F10. Okay, double check our keyboard is connected. Okay, keep tapping F10 on the keyboard to bring up the BIOS options and we want to make the SSD drive in the boot priority as number one. Because I'm going to keep the second drive in there as a data drive. Keep tapping F10, okay. So, we're going to go, let's have a look, uh, what's on the device configuration? Okay, storage options, nope, boot order, okay, okay. 
All right, this is good. Okay, go back to boot order. Legacy boot, hard drive, you want to make this one to be higher, just there. So we're going to boot into legacy and hard drive is there top priority and the SSD is the first. And F10 to save changes, F10 again, save changes and exit. And we're going to do F9 to boot from the USB now to install Windows 10 on the 256 gig SSD. So I'm pressing the F9 key multiple times. Okay, and I've got the SanDisk USB there. Great. Thank you for watching.